well still to come. We'll be uh, bringing you up to date with all the news stories coming our way this morning, not least the sport, including the latest from Edgbaston. And we'll be talking to the photographer whose pictures of some of Britain's leading actors grace a new book celebrating RADA. I'll see you soon. Hello again, welcome back. You're watching Live with John Nick. Well, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, RADA, is one of the world's most famous acting schools. It's trained some of the biggest ever British stars, and this year marks its 100th birthday. And to celebrate, many of the school's most successful graduates have been photographed in a new book. Household names such as Ralph Fiennes, Clive Owen and Jane Horrocks are all there, but shot in a way that tries to reveal something about their real personality. Well, RADA's current president, Richard Attenborough, is also featured featured in the book, along with Ovidas and pet, pets Timothy Small, EastEnders hard man Steve McFadden and James Bond Roger Moore. Well, the man behind the camera is the award-winning photographer Cambridge Jones, and I'm pleased to say that he now joins me in the studio in an incredibly uh, groovy jacket. <laughs> uh, thanks very much indeed for, for coming you. in. Uh, where did you get that jacket, by the way? Um, I, I got it in a celebratory moment at Joseph. D in Joseph? Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, I, I wished I hadn't immediately afterwards. Your photographs <laughs> must be selling very well indeed. <laughs> um, how did you get this project? I had, um, I had a show last year called Face the Music about famous names and their favourite bit of music. Uh -huh. And the president, the principal of RADA, Nick Barter, Nicholas Barter, saw that and wanted, had the idea of linking 100 years of RADA with the 100 best known actors. And, and that asked me to do it, and it, uh, frankly, it didn't feel like work at all. <laughs> so I just went round. I just went round all their houses, and um, it's very nice doing it in their house because you're not doing a formal studio thing, and they're sort of on the back foot saying, "Would you like a cup of tea?" And um, well, we're just playing the photographs. We don't have any control over these now. They're just being played randomly, so you're going to see lots of interesting faces. I mean, I think it's one of the great things about my job when I was a reporter that you get to go to people's houses and wander around the houses have a good old nose around yeah. and just see really interesting sometimes famous sometimes not famous people in their home environment because people are different aren't yeah, they? Yeah I think completely and I think that shows in the in the work I think because you don't there's, there's I hope and that's why it's called off stage that it's not about the formality of them as a star it's sort of them in off, off stage moments um, out of the limelight. Who is the of. biggest surprise? Um, oh, there's a question. I, I think Anthony Hopkins, probably. He was the very last one I did, um, and I flew out to Malibu Beach, and I just spent a lovely morning with him. It wasn't like being with a film star. It was like, I, I grew up in Wales, and he's obviously from Wales, and it was sort of like meeting somebody and chatting about the homeland, and I sort of went out and pinched myself afterwards and thought, did that really just happen? And who did you expect not to like and ended up liking? I thought Joan Collins might be tough. But that was because people had often said to me, she might be. Well, she's an old pro, though. She's, yeah, not, she was she's not going to be difficult, she's is fantastic. she? fantastic. Really lovely. Um, and the feedback's been lovely from them, because these are people who are photographed all the time. So it's very nice, some of the comments and, and emails or little notes I've had has been in lovely. Who did you uh, think that you really loved before you went to photograph them and then decided you absolutely hated? I can't say that on television, <laughs> John. Don't even try it. <laughs> can was, I say... Can was I say, there anybody? Um... There was somebody I thought I might like more than I did. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. What about taking photographs of people that you don't like? Is that, is that hard to do? It isn't, because what happens is you get... It's a bit like being a hairdresser, I always liken it to, because for that brief moment in time, they're very, very worried about what you're going to create their image. You're so their friend. You don't be rude to your hairdresser in the middle of a haircut. And it's a little bit like that. Oh, so. I don't know. I've been rude to a few, <laughs> as you can see. Well, look at that. <laughs> I thought I'd say that before you did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, can I say one thing? The, the stars themselves have agreed to auction off. They've got, agreed to sign each print. And this is to raise money for a student to go to RADA. Yes. Um, and the, the idea, there will be an auction of all 100 prints. So if the public wants to bid to do that, they can just go to cambridgejones.com and see how to oh, own, really? own the one signed by Anthony Hopkins or Joan Collins. Oh, fantastic. Um, and the sponsor, Trail Finders, have very kindly given a whole load of money to kick that off. But we'll, and the books and everything will go towards that. Right, so, so tell us how the money is going to be used. Basically, as, as I'm sure we all know, to come and to get a place at RADA is very difficult. 
but uh, even if you get it, you've then got the problem of funding and living in London. So a bursary will be set up called the Trail Finders Bursary, which will effectively give a student an income for the three years. Um, and all the funds from the prof some of the profits from the print and the books and this auction will all go towards that. Now, I'm quite surprised looking at some of the faces that are passing through flashing beside you on the screen there because there are some faces obviously you think have been trained at RADA. Mm, you would yes. assume they have been. But there's some folk you think, really? Yeah. It's an amazing mix. And they don't know it. When you talk to them, they, they, you say, oh, I, I've just come from um, Ian Holmes' house or whatever it is. Mm. And um, they go, what? And even if, the, like, we just saw um, Jane Horrocks and June Whitfield, who worked together, of course, in Absolutely Fabulous, they didn't know they'd both been to RADA. Because I think they just don't talk about it. They don't say, hey, I'm from I was RADA. RADA. Yeah. But June Whitfield, I mean, great comedy actress, but you might not have thought that she was classically trained. You might have thought she'd come up, you know, local theatre route or whatever. She did indeed come through theatre, because in her house she's got all the old amazing theatre posters. It's, yes, it's, 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 I rather imagine her treading the boards in, yeah, some, yeah. in some outlying theatres until she finally made her name. But you are, you are right, because the cross-section kind of goes from EastEnders through to theatre, through Hollywood, through TV and, and all sorts. It's a, it's very, I'm just, what we're seeing here is actually the DVD, which goes along with a piece of music that was composed, which presumably we won't hear, but it's an amazing thing. A, a composer saw my last show and said he, Adrian Munsey, the composer, and said he'd love to do something with the pictures. So he set all 100 pictures to music. And I, when he first said it, I thought, and I'd never met him at that point, I thought maybe, but then I heard it and it's terribly moving actually. Let's just hear a little bit of it now. Obviously, we didn't want to have That's you talking and the pictures yeah. and the music. Well, I'll stop talking. They I would think. compete <laughs> against one another. Well, we're not a, a music television uh, station exactly, but as you're, you're right, it's a beautiful, beautiful music. It's an odd thing because I really didn't expect much of it, and they sat me down with a mini DVD player and put them on, and I just thought, wow, there's something here. Absolutely yeah. extraordinary. Now, there's. Um, the, Sorry, John, and profits from that will also go to the RADA bursary. That will be released in September, I think. Right, and are you, how, how many, are you going to have one bursary? How many are you going to it's have? It's just one bursary. Just one. The, it will be one student per year, and that depends how, how much money it raises to how long it goes on. But how fabulous to be that student, uh, yeah, to know how yeah. the, the funds were yeah. raised. How's John Collins looking? Amazing, <laughs> amazing. I mean, truly, I, I was impressed. Because I saw her once, not very long ago, out with uh, no hair, no makeup, and she looked absolutely amazing. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> you always <laughs> assume, you yeah. no, yeah. she yeah. looked absolutely... Yeah. I agree, and I wasn't absolutely sure. Because, yeah. yeah. of course, you're very close when yeah. you're doing these, and I thought, yeah, they're very, very... Cambridge, great to talk to you. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks, John.